everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've shared with you an update on my funded account challenge with the 5 percenters. In fact, I've had quite a lot of comments from you guys asking how I'm getting on. So in this video, I'm going to share with you an update on my account. I'm going to share with you a recap on my trading performance for September and a look at the dashboard so you can see some insights of my data with the 5 percenters. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily and on Mindfully Trading, I share my journey as I grow and develop as a trader, trading primarily the Forex markets. And I have been trading with the five percenters who are a trading prop firm. So if you are able to pass their challenges, you can get access to a funded trading account that you can trade and hopefully profit from. I have got a link below in the description to the five percenters if you want to find out some more information. And I have created some separate videos as well, so I encourage you to check them out if you are looking for some capital to help you to make money with your trading. Although you can trade many different strategies with the five percenters, I personally have been focusing on trading price action, swing trading using the higher timeframes as that is more convenient for my lifestyle with a newborn baby. So let's jump onto the chart and I'm going to share with you my account update with the five percenters. Hey guys, so here I am in the dashboard with the five percenters and as you can probably tell from the thumbnail in this video, I have been having a pretty of a time lately with my trading. The best way to share with you where I am at is to show you a chart. On the left hand side you can see balance and I started with a $20,000 account size with my challenge with the five percenters. Now to begin with, I kind of I dropped a little bit, I consolidated around my starting capital here. Uh, the blue line represents my balance and the pink dotted line is the floating profit and loss. So that's basically your equity. So let's just focus on the blue line at my balance. And I consolidated quite a while around my funding capital. As you can see, I had a sharp drop down. I started to go into drawdown, but I managed to, to sort of gather myself to center myself to use those mindful techniques such as meditation and yoga and other things that might appeal more to you um personally i like a lot of exercise as well but all these techniques to try to get your head into a better place because ultimately trading is about mindset and trading psychology and that really does make it or break it when it comes to trading once you understand the technicals so i kind of focus a lot on that and I took it slow and steady. I managed to climb out of the red and I started to swing into the green. I started to make some nice profits, kind of retested my funding capital and then started to push up higher and I started to feel really good. And I think that's where I maybe hit a roadblock because perhaps I got a little bit cocky and got a little bit sloppy with my discipline on taking trades because in one week, I managed to go from the top here and I had this big drop down. And in fact, it was probably my worst week trading. And this was the previous week just gone, which was the last week of September. So where did I go wrong? Well, I think it was mostly a combination of a choppy market against my trading strategy, because I tend to focus on trend continuation and the market has been choppy and there's been a lot of long-term trends that seem to be either having a deeper pullback or maybe even reversing and i try to get onto the trend continuation and it just fails um so there could be that and i also feel like it is maybe because i was doing so well and i got a little bit slack because a lot of the trades i got into were not what i would call a quality and when you're trading a prop firm you really need to target a quality trades because each trade really does matter luckily with the five percenters they're one of the best prop firms because they give you so much time to complete the challenge. I have got um, six months to be able to complete this challenge to either hit my targets or to uh, hit the drawdown on the account. But that is plenty of time to be able to go through these experiences of trading where you have drawdown and you have the setbacks, but I still have the time to be able to recover from those. So I can take a bit of time out to gather myself and get back in. And that's what trading is always about. It's this cycle of you do well, you may have a step backwards. You have to have a bit of time to pick yourself up and you have to get back and carry on. How many of you guys experienced that process of trading? Let me know in the comments below. So just jumping into my account here in MetaTrader 5, just to share with you some stats. Um, as it stands, as you could see from the dashboard, I am currently in drawdown again on my account, but this is the data that I took for the month of September. So I have chosen this um, from the trades that 
that reached their target in September. A couple of these were actually taken in August, but because I held them swing trading, they hit their, their profit in September. And I actually made a really good profit in September. I finished up, I think I worked this out at, yeah, just over 1.5% on the account. So I saw some really nice growth in September. But as you can see, all of this red at the bottom is that big drop in my account. And I counted this up and I actually took eight losing trades in one week and one break even, but no winners. So it really was a brutal week for me. And as a result this week, I've currently only taken a trade and I've basically just been really slowing down and taking a bit of time out because I've also been a bit poorly and there's been a few things going on at home. My baby's teething and these might sound like excuses, but they're not necessarily excuses. They're just factors that can affect your focus and your training performance. So I've got a few things going on. So I'm trying to just practice a little bit of self-care at the moment, slowing down with my training this week and I'm going to come back at it with much more focus and clarity hopefully next week but I'm going to see most importantly what the markets are saying because if they're still choppy and if my strategy doesn't really apply if there are no A quality trades then I'm certainly not going to just jump into anything I'm going to wait for the best trading opportunities when you experience these sort of phases of drawdown in your own trading, do you have any techniques that you use to help you to get your focus back to help you to pick yourself back up if you do, be sure to share them in the comments below. It's always great to hear from you and we are a community. It's good to help out one another with these tips and tricks. So just before I wrap up this video, I'll just share with you one of the trades that I am currently in. So I'm recording this on Thursday, 6th of October. And as you can see, I'm currently in a position here on Euro Pound. I got into this a couple of days ago and obviously thought it looked good. Why else would I get into a trade? But now I'm not so sure, but I'm just kind of letting the trade have a bit of time to play out. So let's have a look at the chart for euro pound. So for this trade, I've tried to use clean, clear price action. As you can see, there are no indicators on this chart, only drawing tools that I have placed myself. And I'm on the four hourly time frame, and I've used this uh, together with the daily time frame to highlight this potential trading opportunity. And what I'm most interested in is, although we had been coming in an uptrend here, making higher highs and higher lows, we had this sharp push up and immediately we've had a pullback down and price seems to be swinging lower. But most importantly, it broke that previous higher low here and it closed below that, which to me suggests that it is starting to swing lower and I should now look for shorting opportunities. And that's what I did here. So zooming in on most recent price action, all I've done to highlight this trade plan is I have taken the length of this previous pullback here where price had a pullback before pushing lower and I applied that to the low of the most recent swing and it took me into this area here on the left. Now this is quite an interesting area because we had this range of price before price pushed up but now price has broken this so this is now an area of resistance for price to push higher. So that's why I set my entry short here with my stop above this area. As you can see, we're testing that at the moment and time will tell as to whether this trade is going to work out or not. But for now, I've got to trust my plan, I've got to trust my stop and I've just got to let the trade play out. Meanwhile, you might have caught my other video that I recently shared where I opened a new trading account with the broker CedarFX. I have included a link above to that video if you missed it. It's great if you're a beginner and you're just starting out because I show you how to set up a free demo trading account so that you can practice risk-free and get started trading. Well, I'm playing with that account at the moment and I'm really excited. I've got some other things going on in the background. I'm playing around with a few different strategies and I'm also playing around with the idea of automated trading. In fact, I'm going to share a video about that soon and make sure you're subscribed below with the notification bell tick so that you get notified when that video is released. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Until then, thank you for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.